what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so just some brief news that came out yesterday or actually the day before yesterday on sunday um uh, on july 31st actually this came out on july 31st this is a tweet in reference to the upcoming screen 5 movie we know we're getting um basically what has happened is this project has gotten yet another stamp of approval it, the script has anyway fans of happy death day will uh certainly love this if you're a fan of both scream and happy death day this will make you even more excited for scream 5 christopher landon the writer for happy death day or the director i believe for right for happy death day has come out and stated that the script for scream scream 5 is is good so that's all he had to say now the reason i wanted to talk about this is because christopher landon at one point in time last year he there was news coming out around the same time that rumors started started up about Scream 5 news came out that he was working on a new a new movie and everyone was under the impression that Christopher Landon was working on uh Scream 5 because of the rumors coming out and because of Blumhouse making making uh Jason Blum commenting on the fact that he'd love to do some movies for that franchise and then christopher landon having associations with jason blum and we know he's done happy death day and happy death day to you so then when news and rumblings came out that he was working on a new project everyone thought that he was going to be the one to bring us this new scream movie now that of course is not the case we know we're getting scream 5 from matt benelli and tyler gillett who brought us ready or not the radio silence team spyglass media is involved paramount Pictures will be distributing it we have Courtney Cox officially on board to reprise, reprise her role as Gail Weathers now. We have David Arquette back to play Dewey Riley. We're still waiting to hear if Nev Campbell will return or not. But of course, that's going to be coming in the few weeks or so as we now have official Twitter accounts and an official Instagram account for this upcoming project that is looking to start shooting this October out in Wilmington, North Carolina. So what I want to say about this is this is yet, yes, just yet another person who has come out about this project and they've stated that the script is good or they've stated something like Kevin Williamson had to say that what they've written honors Wes's legacy and the directors themselves and everyone involved with the project just coming out and giving all these stamp of approvals about it. Nev Campbell mentioning that she was in, she was impressed or had had some liking to what was being offered to her and what the directors had to had come to her with with the narrative of Screen Five. So honestly, knowing that all of them are getting back in back involved, there's there's something here that's that's gonna has the potential to be great. That's my honest opinion. Something here has the potential to be great, but keep in mind. While the script might be good, one thing we need to remember when it comes to, comes to filmmaking, when you have a good script, you can have the best script there is, but your movie could be executed horribly. And a perfect example of that would be, um, not not a perfect example, but let's let's just talk about Jeepers Creepers really quick. Jeepers Creepers original script has a far better ending in my opinion than the one we actually got, but we did not get that due to budget budget restrictions. Uh, there's a few other things in that original script that we do not have in the movie itself that some some tiny things that just the tiniest things might have made the movie slightly better. So there's always a chance that whatever this script is that Christopher Landon read, it might not even be the actual draft that we get that gets shot unless he knows that this is the draft that gets shot. Because what could happen is we we're already speculating that they've prepared for this, given that scream has faced so many leaks in the past with its other entries and other sequels that the team behind screen five presumably if they were smart they took all the necessary precautions that includes possibly using a draft for auditions that includes names that will not actually be appearing in the film to conceal the identity of the actual characters in case of a leak uh so that's where this idea that sarah might not be sarah is actually kirby comes from there's several different things that could be going on here. The script might be great, but we might get an absolute trash executed depiction of this script. Just like how with Scream 4, Scream 4 script, it reads better than actually how it plays out. That's my honest opinion about Scream 4. Scream 4 is a very solid movie, a massive improvement from the third entry, but the way 
it plays out and the, if you read the script in the way you would envision it in your head me personally it i envision it in my head much differently and i get a much better film than what we actually got it was done fine for what it was but anytime you read a script of course you're gonna sit there and say it's you might sit there and say it's good afterwards especially if you have characters that are you're hooked on and you're invested in and you want to spend more time with getting to know when you're reading scripts you have all the time in the world to just sit around and, and come up let your imagination run wild and put all these things in your head as you're you're taking these words that you're reading and then you can create the movie in your head so at the end of the day of course if you have a script that's written very well and, and you've been able to create the images of what it would look like on screen in your head i turn around and say it was a good script too like i but like i'm saying the script might be the best thing out there since the first movie but it could be executed very horribly that's still always a possibility there's several movies that have gone through this several movies uh, that have the ama have this amazing concept with this decent script that gets turned into this run down, like watered down version of what it was intended to be. What I will say is we all should remain very positive about the project because of the fact that the Weinsteins are not involved. And I know the Weinsteins, Bob in particular, they were very back and forth with Kevin Williamson, very back and forth with what oh we're not doing that we don't want to do this we don't want to do that oh we can't do that change this change that all this other type of stuff so the fact that we don't have to worry about that anymore makes this very exciting because what, what's going to happen is uh we'll have a screen five film where the weinsteins are not holding holding back what's possible we'll get to see a script finally executed to its full potential we won't hear things coming out during production hopefully about all these on stage all these backstage issues with kevin williamson or all these other issues with the producers jumping in and, and tweaking and wanting to do reshoots and changing the script halfway through production all this other type of stuff someone walking out like production was just just played because of the weinsteins and their constant constant attitude towards what was what was being planned they always wanted to change something. They always wanted to change this. They always wanted to change that. It's, it's like, if you don't have any... And Kevin Williamson, I believe, said this in the podcast that he was on. If you don't have any trust in the people you're working with, why continue to work with them over and over again? If you're just going to keep doing this, you're going to keep telling them, oh, well, no, we don't need to do it that way. We're going to do it this way. Oh, uh, no, I don't like that. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way. Oh, change that. Rewrite that whole section. We're not going to film that. Like, if you're... You have a history of working with this person for three different projects that are in the same franchise. If you're going to be doing this, why continue to work with them? Why continue to work at all? That's why Kevin Williamson decided he wasn't going to work with these guys anymore. That's why he did not want to come back for Screen 5. That's that's exactly why. That's another reason why Screen 5 did, Screen 5 did not happen. On top of Screen 4, yes, being lackluster at the box office, Kevin Williamson didn't want to work with them anymore because of the debacle that was screen four the production process for him was was hell he left that project to go focus on the vampire diaries and i don't blame him one bit knowing what i know now and what he's saying went on behind behind the scenes it's just ridiculous honestly but christopher landon did say that the script is good um a good script to me means we have sydney prescott in a prominent role and when i say prominent uh a role that's still very very effective very impactful another thing we need to keep in mind is Screen 5 could be taking the Dream Warriors approach. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, the Dream Warriors. That's what everything is very reminiscent of to me. We're getting a, a film in a franchise that is a sequel, not ignoring the previous entries, but we're focusing on a new set of characters, but we're gonna bring in the old to be kind of like mentors. That's very similar, very reminiscent of Nightmare on Elm Street 3, the Dream Warriors. Let me know what you guys think about what Christopher Landon had to say down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. Also, down in the comment section, I'm gonna have a link to the Facebook group. You go ahead and join that group and let me um, let me know what got, what things you guys want to see on this channel. Just discuss horror amongst yourselves in that group. Uh, but with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.